Well, a high trust city is one where citizens can go about their daily lives knowing that uh, if they are considerate to others, others will be considerate to them. A, a high trust city is one where social capital is strong and is being uh, built on day after day. Well, government's responsibility is to take care of the needs of society and people. But government also has to uh, balance trade-offs, including the interests of different groups of people and different causes. Uh, and therefore, I think it's important uh, to bring trust to a next level by not just governing, but governing together uh, with society. Trust has to be cultivated, has to be nurtured, has to be watched over because trust is a, is a fragile thing. So for example, in the Friends of the Park communities, I was walking through the forest uh, with uh, NPARC's colleagues, with Kenneth. We were looking at the damage that was caused uh, by some uh, users of the forest. And uh, then the question was, how do we remedy this? How do we ensure that trust between these different groups of users uh, is protected and enhanced? And so, instead of the typical model where we will bring in uh, people uh, to remedy the harm caused and uh, just move on. I think it, we decided instead to form the Friends of the Park community, bring different groups of people together, groups that may sometimes conflict with each other in using this space, groups that have uh, a different value proposition to the uh, spaces that we're talking about, such as the forest and greenery, and then get them to work together with us to protect this space. So it's a matter of working more closely with them, uh, reaching out uh, tentatively at first, but as we do things together, trust will begin to grow. Planning of a city must be inclusive. It cannot just consider infrastructural elements. It needs to ensure that the city remains of human scale, because ultimately cities are for people. Second, uh, the process needs to be intimate and inclusive and so the opportunity for people to access draft proposals, to dream and to share ideas about how they'd like their neighbourhoods to, to look like, their transport nodes to look like, their workplaces to look like, their parks to feel and because they know that they have the opportunity to actually make things happen, I think that uh, brings trust to a different level altogether. SG Secure movement. It's a movement that uh, we actively empower as many citizens uh, as we can uh, to look out for risks, to look out for each other, and to be empowered with the skill sets to respond in the event of an unexpected uh, incident like an attack. So, putting in people's minds that they should run, hide, and tell. And when they encounter uh, someone who's wounded, press, tie and tell. These things enable them to uh, instinctively respond and collectively we are more resilient. The spaces we provide uh, in the uh, housing estates create passively the opportunity for people to mix, to mingle. But people ultimately have to seize that opportunity. Each of us must want uh, to build trust with the people around us.